guys, it's Cindy here from Hooked on Crafts. When I was first learning how to crochet, I wanted to learn how to make hats and amigurumi. And when I was reading the pattern, it would say do eight half double crochets into a magic circle or a magic ring. And I was like, what is a magic circle or a magic ring? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make a magic circle or a magic ring. And it is going to make your projects look so much more finished. You are going to love it and you will never go back to making the beginning stitches the other way. So what we're going to do is first we're going to take our yarn, lay it across our hand there. And then you're going to hold that loose end of the yarn down there onto your ring finger and wrap it around and I do this kind of loosely because that's just how I like it you're going to kind of make an X there and then as you flip your hand over you're going to have two parallel lines of yarn and I usually just tuck that working into my yarn in between my pinky and my ring finger there just to hold it tight and as you can see on the back here we still have our X and then on the front side, we still have our parallel lines. And this is how you start your magic ring. So you're going to grab your hook. You're going to go under the first strand of yarn there. And you're going to grab the second strand with your hook and pull it under that first strand. And as you're pulling it through, kind of turn and twist your hook there loosely so that you have a loop on the end of your hook. And then I just hold it between my pointer finger there and my thumb just in place so I don't lose that loop and I pull out my hand and I grab my working end of the yarn and then I am going to yarn over and pull through that first loop there. Since I am going to be doing half double crochets into my magic circle I'm going to go ahead and chain one more time. If I was doing double crochets I would chain three times, half double crochets two times and a single crochet would just be one time. So now I'm just going to kind of untangle my tail there because it was all wrapped around the other yarn and I just want to get it out of my way so that I can continue on. So now to start your first stitch into the magic circle. So I'm doing half double crochets so I'm going to yarn over, go through the circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and then go through all three loops. That counts as my first half double crochet. The other stitches before that did not count as a half double crochet, guys. So just remember that as you're doing yours. So I'm going to go ahead and work eight half double crochets into this magic circle. And you can see it's just looking like a line there, but just wait, we're gonna get it all pulled together here in just a few minutes. So once I started using this magic circle, I will never go back to the other way because I just like how it looks on my projects. Now, as I go and I get to the eight half double crochet, I'm just going to kind of pull up on my yarn here and make a big loop. And then you can see it's kind of a straight line. Untuck your tail there and take it to the bottom. Hold on to your first stitch there and then just kind of tug on that loose tail until it gets really tight. And you can see it's starting to form its circle, right? So now I'm just gonna get my yarn, my working yarn back in order there, tighten up my stitch. And I do not slip stitch into the eighth one. I just go ahead and start working my half double crochets into that first stitch. I prefer not to slip stitch it. I just like to do a continuous round. So usually it calls for two half double crochets in the second round and you guys can continue to pull on that tail and tighten it up all the way through your project and then right when you get ready to weave it in, tighten it real good and weave it in and it will stay. And there you have it. It is the perfect magic circle. I'm glad you guys decided to come and join me today to craft. If you like these types of videos, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. Happy crocheting guys. Till next time.